This is a, an item that we discussed a little bit at some of our previous meetings, but last month, Jeff and I went and visited an airline to discuss the possibility of gaining service to the east and west coast, specifically the D.C. area and LAX. And the airline was very receptive to Tulsa. They actually had already been studying the Tulsa market and uh, were positive generally for, for what our passengers want and the service that they can provide. When we were done with our presentation, they, they said, okay, now, you know, our service is really successful in Oklahoma City. And we think that's because of the fact that they provided $200,000 <coughs> in marketing support. Tell us a little bit about your marketing support plan. And we talked to them about our plan, which is t a $10,000 plan to support um, the service announcement and promote the service as it's initiated. And that's better than nothing, but when they're looking at airports that are similar in size to Tulsa, and they're trying to make the decision whether or not to implement service, and, and they're looking at those incentive programs, if ours is not competitive, they're going to choose the airport with more competitive service. <coughs> Uh, the airlines right now are not in an expansion mode in, in terms they're not buying any new airplanes right now. So what they're doing is they're taking aircraft out of existing market to implement service in Tulsa. So we're going to have to provide a, a better model than one that's already in place in another market. And uh, they said after we followed up with them a couple of times after our meeting, um, they are definitely interested, particularly right now, in the East Coast service. But uh, they again asked us if, if they said if you can do anything to help with the marketing dollar, do you think that that, that would help your case? Um, one of the things that Jeff and I discussed as well was the fact that this additional flight, let's say that they decide to implement this flight with the CRJ 700 aircraft, which is a 70 seat aircraft. Um, the, the airplane landed weight's about 75,000 pounds. When you look at our landing fee per 1,000 pounds, it's about $2 or so. Um, it, over the course of a year, just for the landing fee from that aircraft, we would bring in over $50,000. And so uh, th that additional income would pay for this particular incentive, not to mention any additional revenue that we would gain from more passengers coming through the terminal or the benefit to the community for having that service. So uh, we decided, Jeff and I discussed what dollar amount really would make a difference. And when airlines are looking at Tulsa <coughs> and they're looking at Oklahoma City, we definitely are not in the position to offer $200,000 or even $100,000. But we feel that $50,000 was a reasonable amount. And uh, with the stipulation that it would go to an east or west coast city that would then provide the international connections that Tulsa travelers need. So that's why uh, we decided to bring this item before you today. I think the most telling schedule was the one where you just showed the, the list, what we offer versus the other mm -hmm. airports.